What is going on guys? It's your boy, L Excels, and I wanna see your boys excel and prevail every day. In this video, we're gonna explain why she's gonna to try to come back into your life. There's a lot of reasons for this. She sees either you're blowing up, you're growing up, and you're glowing up, or she's just, you know, wants to be manip manipulative and try to control you in that way because she wants to give herself an ego boost. Guys, we're gonna get into all this, but if you haven't already and you wish to support me, go like and subscribe to the channel. Also go follow the IG and the Twitter. The links are in the description. Let's go, let's get it. Let's not waste a second, let's go. Guys, first of all, you need to take accountability, okay? She left you in the first place, right? Nine times out of 10, that's usually what happens. When you're more in a higher position, like you're doing more well for yourself, then you're gonna start leaving chicks. That's when you start get, you get to choose, okay, She's cool, she can stay, I, I like her, maybe she can stay, she can't cook or clean, she gotta go, stuff like that. But like when you first start dating, right, you know, when you're not, you don't have everything yet, you're still building, you're building your empire, right? You're working, you're doing everything right, but you're still burden, building. You're not at where you wanna be. Nine out of 10, like when you're in a relationship, she's gonna probably end things with you. That's just how it goes, guys, because guys get a little too comfortable with one chick when they got that, you know, at home, kitty at home, you know what I'm saying? So guys get comfortable. That's why I'm always preaching you can't be, you cannot be comfortable, guys. You've got to always be working, always striving for more. Don't let, you know, just a girl control you like this. Like, oh no, it's all gonna be all good, all fine. That we can stay here, get lazy, you could be a bum, and I'm still gonna like you. Cause guys, that's all lies. She's gonna leave you. If you do that, if you choose to stay with this kind of woman, she'll leave you. All right. So take accountability. Somewhere along the line, when you were with her, you did something wrong. Or maybe you weren't. Hustling, maybe you were hustling, right? You were with her at first, but then, you know, you got comfortable, like I said, and then you just, you know, you gave up on your goals and your passion. That that fire about you, the inside, it just died out. And she sees it, she feels it. She's like, nah, this guy ain't about nothing no more. Maybe you turn her off because you're acting too beta. You're acting like a weak, feminine guy. Like, you're a yes man. You always want to please her. You always want to jump through hoops to make her happy. You know, you're putting her first through everything. She don't want that, guys. They... I am telling you, it is. I reiterate myself, guys. Women will tell you things nine times out of, nine times out of ten they don't want it. All right. So maybe you're either too clingy, you're either de so dependent on her, or you're just annoying. Like you know, you just want to be with her all the time, or you, you depend on her to do things for you, which you should to an extent. But like, you depend on her for your happiness. Oh no, that's a big turn off in their eyes, guys. Number two, okay. You broke up, time has gone by, you know, you were hurt. Yeah, you went through your heartbreak. That took a year, maybe a couple months. You're like, all right, I need to get back on my horse. I need to get back on my grind. And if you are doing that, good for you, bro. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a big clap on the back. Because a lot of guys, they can't even do that. Okay, a lot of guys get fall into the hole of depression. Like when they get through a breakup and they can't, you know, jump right out of it. They get stuck. I was at one time when I was younger, guys, when I was 15, I was in a position like that. That's why I suggest when guys should get their heart broken at an early age so they can learn how to, you know, recuperate and learn how to jump through these obstacles now. They don't have to go through this pain when you're 25, when, when you actually have life bills to pay and you have priorities you need to take care of. You know, you got a job you got to go to. You don't have time to feel pain. When you're a kid, you got a little bit more free time on your hands because you don't have that much responsibilities. All right, but now time has passed, right? You're doing better, you're working. You're doing everything right. You got a better job. Maybe you went to school, you got a better career. Maybe you started your own business and you didn't go to school and now things are working out for you. Maybe you're great in finances. Maybe you're great with stocks, crypto, whatever that may be. Maybe you're great <coughs> with online business. That's great. You should be. You should focus on your niche. You get better at it. Then time has passed by, right? You're at the grocery store. You bump into her, you're at a, the mall, you bump into her, you're at the gym, she sees you. Okay, she sees you now. And you know, as time has passed, you're happy. You have like, like you, you love your life. You don't worry about other, like what chicks got going on. And she can see and feel all that energy, guys. That's a woman's sixth sense, when they can feel all your energy. <coughs> I'm telling you, they can feel it. But she sees you're doing better. Okay, that's gonna get, fireworks blowing up in her head she's gonna be like damn he, he really he bossed up 
and he did it without me oh man he must really be about his mission he's about success you know i thought when i broke up when he was gonna be a bum eh, you wrong Right, she counted you out. Okay, never count out an underdog, guys. I love we love true underdog stories. But she counted you out, right? You're like, damn, she gave up on me. <sighs> now she sees that. She's gonna wanna come back into your life now. Now she's gonna see that you're happy, you upgraded your life. Now she's gonna wanna hit you up, right? Like, or maybe she'll approach you. Maybe you were like saw her in person, right? She sees that your life's doing better either through social media or you bump into her. And then she'll hit you up, guys. Like, I guarantee, nine times out of 10, she will. She'll be like, hey, stranger. Oh, I saw you the other day. Oh, how you doing? You look great. Oh, you trying to get together sometime? Or you trying to go out to dinner? And they'll have the audacity to ask you out to dinner and expect you to still pay. Okay. This is great, guys. This is a great position you want to be in with your ex, with the old relationship, whatever. Whatever that may entail. That's a great position. Now the ball is in your hands. And now you're... Running up the court with it, all right? Full court press, let's go. She's expecting, guys, she is expecting <laughs> for you to still be in love with her. For you to still be infatuated with her. Just because you guys had, you know, either a sexual relation in the past or you had a long-term relationship. She's gonna expect you to be like high over heels for her. Like, you know, you're drunk in love with her. Nah, nah. Nah, now this is when you get to play the game how you want to play it. Okay, this is the route I suggest. I suggest she hits you up, you look at it, you turn your red receipts on, then you leave her on red. You show her that, yo, I'm a boss, you can't even waste my time. You don't even deserve my time. When you, I think of it like this all the time you used to give her, right? And she took all that for granted. Think about the time when she left you, right? When she clowned you, maybe she called you like an ain't. Like you, you ain't about nothing. You ain't about she. You know what I'm saying? Think about that pain. Think about that embarrassment. Maybe she embarrassed you in front of her friends too. She clowned you. Told other people lies about you. Told people, you know, hurtful things about you. Think about that pain, right? All the caps she was doing. All the manipulation she was doing. Okay? That's being the bigger person. To leave her on right and don't even care about it. That's what I suggest. Now there is another way to do this to, to you know make her feel something. I don't suggest this. I don't suggest being vindictive. But if you're that type of type of guy, then this is the route you're gonna probably gonna go. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. This is ultimately gonna happen if you're a revengeful kind of guy. Hey, I'm not saying I can't tell you what to do, guys. You do what you want to do. You do what you want to do, but understand <laughs> things have consequences. All right, for every action, there's a consequence. Now here's the you know. Here's the funny path. I'm gonna call it the funny path. You can entertain the messages, all that, this, this, and that. Oh yeah, you know, you come over or you, we go out to eat, right? You know, have, build up, you know, anticipation for you guys to see each other and then flake on her. Don't even show up. You can even tell her like, yeah, I'm pulling up to the restaurant right now. Where you at? You can be a savage like that. But that's not the route we want to go, guys. I, us, us kings, we ain't about trying to like hurt people anymore. Like, not even anymore. We just don't want to hurt people. You don't even want to give your time and energy to something that's not going to benefit you. And by you doing that, it's not really going to benefit you. All right, you need to just focus on you. Now, the best way is for her to see you just do great without her. Post on social media. Hey, you're out with a battered chick. That's going to make her mind go crazy. When women see that you got can do better and get better women and live a better lifestyle without them, they regret everything they did with you. They regret all the mistakes that happened. They regret cheating on you, leaving you, texting other guys, clowning you. You know, all this like, that vengeful stuff that they do because women are very emotional. That's why I don't suggest you go out of your way and try to hurt people because that's an emotional weak quality that, you know, that usually, you know, these are traits of a woman, of a feminine person. All right. But if you guys made it this far in the video, please go like and subscribe to the channel if you wish to support me. I appreciate every single one of y'all boys. I want to see you boys excel and prevail. It's your boy, Alex Sells, and I'm out.